For over a century, the most important race of any kind in the United States has been the Indianapolis 500. In recent years, perhaps that's been uh, supplanted by the Daytona 500 with NASCAR. But for about 20 years, from 1979 up until a little bit before 2000, I think the single most important manufacturer's race in the world was the Paris-Dakar Rally. Uh, no holds barred, bring what you got, 10,000 kilometer torture test that literally went from the city of Paris all the way to Dakar, Senegal through some of the most torturous and complicated circumstances known to man. In fact, in 2007, that's the last year the Paris-Dakar was run because of terrorism problems that they had in Mauritania. After 2008, the Paris Dakar is these days run in South America. In the 80s particularly, it was the centerpiece for torture testing of vehicles of all kind, from motorcycles to high-performance all-wheel drive cars, which were burgeoning at that time, to high-performance quad runners and four-wheel drive trucks. Honda was a little slow out of the gate until 1982 and they had a 550cc engine that was piloted by an ex-Yamaha pilot, Cyril Nouveau, who won in 1982 and put Honda off-road motorcycles at center stage. In 85 and 86, Cyril Nouveau won again on their 750 series bike, and in 87, or 88 and 89, they won with two different drivers on their 800 series platform. Four years in a row, Honda won the championship for motorcycles against every other brand in the entire world. And Honda was established as the premier off-road motorcycle that there was in the world. To celebrate that in 1988, they came out with the Africa Twin. And so the Africa Twin was sold only in Europe, is one of the most successful and most desirable dual sport or off-road street use motorcycles that have ever been made. In 2016, the Africa Twin made its way to the United States, and now they have both the Africa Twin and the Africa Twin Adventure Sports. And so the code letters for these are CRF1000L for the Africa Twin and CRF1000L2 for the Adventure Sports. The Adventure Sport is different than a standard Africa Twin. It's more than just the fun graphics package. This is a 30th anniversary edition, and what is it the 30th anniversary of? It's the 30th anniversary of the original Africa Twin to celebrate what ended up being four consecutive championships at the Paris Dakar. Why Africa Twin? Because Dakar is in Africa in the country of Senegal. The Africa Twin in the Adventure Sport model is taller than a traditional Africa Twin. And before we talk about the differences between the two motorcycles, that is one that cannot be understated or overstated because the ride height position is an inch taller on this motorcycle. And so I am six feet tall. And to give you an idea, I'm just barely comfortable on this. And so if I'm much shorter than six feet tall, I might not be that comfortable on this motorcycle. It is a very tall motorcycle with almost 11 inches of ground clearance. The seat is different on the uh, Adventure Sport than it is on the traditional Africa Twin. It's a different kind of articulation altogether and it sits taller. The handlebars also sit taller. They sit 1.4 inches taller than the comparable Africa Sport. One nice thing is that this uh, does have heated uh, grips as opposed to the Africa Twin, which does not. All new layout for both for 2018, and you can, this is a manual shift, but you can get this in a DCT or dual clutch transmission, which is uh, essentially an automatic transmission. Right here you would see a neutral button, in fact. Taking a look around, well, this one has accessory uh, cases on the back and a great story about where this owner has taken it. This bike was recently driven by one of my coworkers from where he purchased it in Florida and he drove it all across the country through forests and deserts and over mountains and camping in the snow, coming over the Rockies and the Sierras and drove it all the way from Florida to Seattle. 
it is that kind of motorcycle. In fact, he just recently got it and it already has over 8,000 miles. He had it shipped here to Hawaii and you couldn't pick a better place in the world for this kind of motorcycle than the big island of Hawaii. Nowhere probably in America is there more space to go on some heavy duty adventure uh, roads than there are here on the big island. Coming around, the Adventure Sport has a different luggage case altogether, and so everything about it, the, the shock travel is 10% more shock travel, the fork travel is 10% more short, uh, fork travel, the height is different, the seat is different. It's just a different handling and performing vehicle. Skid plates, well, even the Africa Twin has skid plates. It's still designed to do some heavy duty off-road driving. It's just the Adventure Sports has this huge shield that goes all the way uh, encompassing the exhaust manifold as well as crash bars. Different kinds of foot pegs are unique for 2018. Different kinds of creature comforts are different for 2018 as well. One thing that's the same between both is that they have 94 horsepower, which is enough to take this bike from zero to 60 in just 4.3 seconds. So for those of us coming from cars and you wonder, you know, just how fast are these uh, motorcycles nowadays? They're plenty fast. A big difference in the real world between the Adventure Sports and the traditional series uh, Africa Twin is that the Africa Twin has a 5 liter fuel tank. In fact, it's a different kind of low profile fuel tank that was patented by Honda so that the center of gravity is actually lower. But the Adventure Sports has a 6.37 gallon fuel tank, so about a 1.4 gallon difference. This bike gets such nice gas mileage that you can go 300 miles between Phillips. There aren't a ton of cars that can go 300 miles between Phillips. And so this bike is designed for really getting out there. Now, the Adventure Sport is more comfortable, it's more compliant. It has, uh, you know, it's a taller seating position, it's taller handlebars, it has squishier suspension with greater travel all the way around. But it's also designed to be better off-road than a standard Africa Twin. So it's a more capable tourer, but it's also more capable off-road. This one has had 8,000 miles put on it in just a few months, and its owner still brings it to work every day because it's a fun everyday motorcycle as well as being extremely practical. These bikes are right around $15,000 new. If you price them used, they're right around $15,000. Unreal resale value on these motorcycles. One of the most desirable motorcycles on the road. One of the most capable motorcycles ever made. This is the 2018 Honda Adventure Sports. And it is, if you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My name's Joe Tunney. You can reach me anytime at joelovesawaii at gmail.com.